What's going on, everyone, and welcome back to Stage Select, your home for all entertainment and fandom. My name is Chris. Uh, audio listeners, thank you so much for listening. If you're not already watching the YouTube videos, they are live now. Uh, so go ahead over to Stage Select on YouTube and check us out. With me today, as always, is my friends Will and Manny. Will, say what's up. What's going on, guys? Manny, what's good? No, much, guys. How you guys doing? I'm doing all right, man. You guys know how this works. We're going to run through three stages, three different topics, and then top it off with a little dessert boss fight. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys have anything to say before we start? Because uh, I actually have a pretty killer stage one for us today. I'm good, man. Ready to go. Yeah. Rather than just okay. thank you guys for watching and, and keep supporting us and keep joining us out on our adventures, it's actually a good ride with these guys, and I, go, I hope you guys are actually enjoying it as well. We got all a YouTube channel. We got a YouTube channel. Ever, ever. All you guys, follow. Thumbs up, all that shit. Okay, topic one, stage one. Uh, if you're listening, you probably already heard about this. Um, and if you haven't, look it up. Um, it's a game called Fall Guys is what I want to talk about this week. Uh, it is a battle royale, <clears throat> which is, to me, um, I want to describe it as a Mario Party minigame battle royale. That's the way that it feels to me. Uh, I downloaded it yesterday. And that's what I did most of yesterday, and uh, and then following <laughs> into today. So uh, I know I'm a lot well of well invested. Yes, yes. So <laughs> currently free on PlayStation. Uh, if you have PlayStation Plus, I have 19.99 on Steam. It is still an alpha. Um, have you guys played it? Dude, I it's I'm, I was literally just playing it right now, not too long ago. Dude, that game is freaking hilarious, man. Like it, yes, it's so, it's so funny, dude. <laughs> Send videos, man. But but I haven't played it. But it looks a lot of fun. Uh, it's like a lot of players at the same time, right? Doing wacky things. It's 60. So I'll, I'll break it down for anyone that doesn't know the game a little bit more detailed. It's 60 players. And then usually it's five rounds in the first round, 15 people will get knocked out. Um, and uh, if you've ever seen the game show Wipeout, it, it basically kind of derives from that a little bit. There's uh, bumpers that'll bump you off the island or, or whatever course. Um, and then you go to stage two. And it's uh, it's a race to uh, a race to the flag, but you're dodging fruit that's coming at you, or you have to stand on tiles that match other fruits. It's essentially the most popular Mario Party game, Hexagon Heat, um, like the Skater Die, things like that, all mashed up into a battle royale. Um, I'm in love with it. Uh, I got to tell you guys, yesterday when I played my first game, I thought, hey, this is kind of fun and silly. What a silly game for kids! And today. I was yelling at my TV, like, mother, <laughs> how can I possibly have gotten second? Why did they put me on yellow team? They're pairing me with the dumbest kids. I should have gotten that. That was my win. And he, <laughs> oh, this guy, and I'm, I'm doing tricks, man. I love it. Um, do you guys, I want to know, before I go more into Fall Guys, do you guys have any experience with Battle Royales at all? Fortnite, um, H1Z1? Uh, mainly, yeah, Fortnite, I haven't played it, but I mean, in terms of, for me, Battle Royale, I would probably have to go with Battlefront 2. That's as close as to Battle Royale as I'm going to get right now. Will, do you do much uh, Battle Royale? I, I played a few of them. I, I remember I, I played um, H1C1 back in the day. I played um, I played Fortnite. I did play um, uh, Apex Legends 2. Uh, so so I'm, 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 I'm well versed in the genre. It's not my favorite genre, but, but usually it's free to play. So might as well try it. Uh, and, and and pretty much most of the companies are, have been pulling off uh, good quality content on those type of games. So from time to time, I jumped in. Like I said, not a fan. Uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of surprised that this is considered a, a battle royale. No, yeah. no wonder, no wonder Dust Disrespect is streaming this like like quite a lot now. So it's, it's interesting. I think, um, <clears throat> and I know. So me and Manny both uh, are playing on PS4. I know Will, you currently don't have it because the game is 1999, but it's still an alpha, and there are um, it, it does take that Fortnite it, that's model. That's still on alpha. This is alpha, man. This is this is see, like this, this game came out I think like five six days ago. And how how everybody. is it so popular? It's crazy. Like right now, everybody's talking about this game, dude. That game, you, I'm surprised it, it 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 took a big wave the way it did, man. Like and it's oof. alpha alpha state. Uh, I mean, like, I mean, it, you could argue that it's pushing beta at this point, um, but I mean, it's, I, I noticed very little bugs, if any at all. Um, I, I mean, it's an experience, man. Like, I, I think it's going to be free for PC. I would say, oh, you don't have PS Plus. I would say it's probably going to be free for PC 
within the very near future because I'm there are for, I'm waiting for Epic to do their magic and give yeah, me this game for free. Yes. Epic will get it to you for free soon. In fact, PC has an exclusive for it right now. Um, if you do play it on PC, you're able to unlock the scout outfit from Team Fortress. Um, oh, really? Cool. Yeah, PC has some exclusive outfits. That's another thing that I wanted to talk about because I felt like a 14-year-old boy. Um, <laughs> within within a few rounds of playing this, I've never really understood the allure of, uh, you know, asking mommy and daddy for V-Bucks so you could buy a chicken head. <laughs> and now I'm finding myself saying one more game for 10 games because I want new shorts. Like, <laughs> it, it's very addicting. And uh, it you speaks to those shorts. Man. You gotta have those shorts. Shorts <laughs> on point. So, so quick question to you, Chris. So when you're mm -hmm. playing this, does it feel like you're like in a, in a TV show, like Wipeout, something like that? It's framed that way, yeah. So I don't, I mean, I don't literally feel like I'm in a TV show, but the way that the game is framed, it, it's it's adorable, it's perfect. Like it, uh, it, it's, I, I feel like I am playing a game show nearly perfectly. Cool. I, I believe that's the thing that actually attracts me the most. It, make, it makes you feel like you're on a game show, then this is interesting because I mean, uh, who, who, how many of us get the experience to to go through that? So that's really cool. Yeah. My biggest thing is that uh, I've never really been a fan of battle royales because they're traditionally first person shooters same in thing. some vein. Yeah, I, I'm the same way, man. And I picked this up because it was free and I, and I can't put it down. Um, <laughs> that's good. When, when I lose, uh, like let's say I get to round three or four and I, I lose, um, there, I, I'm not, my blood's not boiling. Usually I'm like, damn, like I got bad RNG or it was my fault for hitting this bumper or that guy had like a cooler, like a better jump than me. Um, but that's the other thing too, is I'm a big uh, fan of platformers, which at its core, this game is really just a platformer. Yeah. So I'm sure you've both played Super Mario 64, Chameleon Twist, Gex. Um, those are both the third and second and third examples were weird, but you know, platformers, you guys played plenty of those, no? Yeah. So so do you think because of its cuteness, it's like less toxic, the environment around the online gaming on this around this game? I hadn't considered it before you saying that, but yeah, man, maybe. Um, the whole There's very adorable music playing the whole time. It makes goof, all the little guys make goofy noises. Yeah. But so honestly, like, man, to me, dude, it's kind of, it's kind of like, even, I mean, I just got into it today though, but aside from all the cuteness and all that stuff there's some there's some deep bag players in that game man yeah dude like there's some trolls you think it's all just like friend friendly competition and all that nah man those guys are really out there to troll you sometimes i, I was almost about people. to toss my t like controller onto the tv dude because it happened to me a couple of times i'm like man now these guys are just not they give no no crafts man it's, i mean but, but but how do you interact with each other is there a way for you to communicate with other players i mean it's 60 people how do you do i that? mean you got a headset and then you like in teams yeah oh but really within, you can it's, talk it's, crap it's, with the headset it's only oh, within no, your own no, party no. though like if you like if me and chris were to go in together like yeah we can talk with each other okay but, like, but not with that we're not with all the players nah. you have uh you do have um four separate um emotes um and you can unlock more but it the game is limited to a certain amount of things that you can do to where communicating you can if a player is at the finish line and they have not gone through the finish line and they're just grabbing people oh. like from going through the finish line I don't need to communicate with them. I know that they're an asshole and that yeah. they're, they're just trolling. There, there's not really a communication aspect outside of parties, but um, which is actually a really good point because there's a lot of team games. Uh, every every second or, or third, probably every third or fourth round, it's randomized what team you get put on between the 30 people left. And it's uh, you know yellow team versus red team versus green team versus pink team or whatever. And uh, you know whoever, the first two teams to get the ball in the hole fastest or the you have to collect each other it, like tails like it puts um like a tail on your butt uh that you can, other players can grab mm -hmm. uh, and, and the team with the most tails advances and if you and the, the people that it randomly selects for you don't succeed in it you're just knocked out and you gotta you gotta go again okay man that's nah, it's a fun game man that's a it's lot a of variety game. there like so so you're saying that there's a lot of different mini games are all of those games 60 player plus or just like different uh so the the that's a that's a, i didn't mean to cut you off man um, no no no, no. That, that's basically the question like it's it's it like all of them are 60 standard or, or basically there's there's games that require less player or more players or 
No, so the first round uh, always is 60 only because oh, the there's first elimination. Round, yes, mm -hmm. it's okay, okay, okay. You basically you'll almost almost always go five rounds with the fifth round being who wins. Okay, um, okay. What and I think is this, and each each round has a different game. Uh, yes. yes. So okay, the okay. the first round will be 60 people mm. every time. The second round will be 45. The third round might be 38 or 30, and then 15, and then usually the final round is. Like around eight. 13 or, or yeah, eight to 13 people. Oh, okay. Now that makes sense. Okay. That's, that's really cool. It, it's, and it's always the same game, the same type of games or no. So or it randomized. It's randomized. Yeah. Um, it's complete. As far as I can tell, it's completely random. Uh, I very rarely get the same games uh, in a row. Um, I, I think the games in its alpha state probably packed with about maybe 20 or 25 games. Okay. Um, but there, there's maybe two or three that I'm like, oh man, I didn't want to play this one. But I, even the ones that I feel like I don't like, I still find myself having a good time playing. And I, I do think a lot of its popularity comes from as soon as you lose, um, you can just back out and you'll still get your experience points. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, experience points. Talk to me about that. So, what do you win? What 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 is it? What what is the end goal? Like, it's gonna be cosmetics, or it's gonna be like you, you get power ups, you get specials. How does it work? It's all cosmetics. Um, there's two forms of currency in the game. Um, there's kudos, which you get every well outside of trophies, which I'll I'll touch on very lightly in a moment. Um, there's kudos, which are experience points. You get kudos every match oh, that you, you play. Get kudos. Yeah, it's kudos. That <laughs> their my their currency is kudos, which is also adorable. Um, and then you can spend kudos on cosmetics. Um, and then the other one, the other uh, currency that you can get is crowns. And you can only get crowns from winning. You get one okay. crown if you're the number one player. Uh, and that's it. There's no, there's no. That's I like mean, the, the victory royale on this game. The victory, the yeah. Yes, the victory royale grants you a crown. And then like five crowns can buy you a, like a legendary skin. Um, oh man, that's not mm -hmm. bad. And then but, I, I don't but know. I believe, but I believe winning five of those games is going to be challenging. Oh my goodness. I've only won one so far. I've gotten second probably. But this is your first day. Times. No, I played all day yesterday. I played a lot. I played several hours yesterday. I get second and third a lot, but the the, the final round game is, um, I mean, it's only my second day, true, but the very final round game with like, say, eight people, it's uh, as it, much skill based, probably, I want to say 35%. And the rest is a good amount of RNG. Um, okay. I mean, you know, I, I'll change my mind in a couple of weeks, but so maybe like in a couple of weeks, we can say you gonna maybe achieve one of those legendary skins. Yeah, I'll definitely have one, and they'll, I'll also say uh, I don't want to deter anybody away from it thinking it's too RNG heavy. Uh, the very the very last round that I played um, before coming on to do this with you guys, uh, I made it to top eight. And the round prior to that, um, like round four, somebody was somebody showed me, or I watched someone do it, and then I replicated it. Was jumping on top of uh, what would normally be like a penalty obstacle that bounces you off the stage, yeah. and he he jumped onto it and catapulted himself very far ahead. And I thought, oh, this dude's speed running. I'm gonna can I can I was that a mistake? Can I do that? I did it. And then succeeded. And in the last round, um, I'm not going to describe the mini game, but the one of the three final round games is you're basically running through like a, I guess I'm describing it like nine layers of uh, hexagons, and uh, as you walk on them, they fall. And the guy that well won, I assume he won. Um, I backed out to be here. Was not <laughs> running around, but instead like taking two steps and then and then jumping over two hexagons and then taking two steps and then jumping over two essentially to kill the field for everybody else but leave as much space for him as possible which i mean that guy definitely deserved the win there's there's some skill involved for sure cool so um now on the scale of one to ten man this game right now based on first impressions of course because mm -hmm. you've been playing it for a, just a couple of days how do you see this game how do you how would you like position this game on that scale uh, today I would give it a really strong six because I'm not IGN and I'm not going to give it a magic eight just because I like it. Um, <laughs> it's, I, I can't, I'm, I'm addicted to playing it and I'll probably play a little bit more before bed. 
um, maybe a week seven, um, but there are some things that they could fix, and I think a strong six is a good score. So either a, a week seven or just maybe, a, yeah, I'd say a week seven. How do you see this? Uh, you played as well, Manny, right? Yeah. yeah How do you see like, it? Like No, same with Chris, man. I mean, I would have liked to give it an eight, but if they that's if they add a lot more to it later on and, and like fix like the little minor bugs that they have but yeah no i could give it a i could give it a strong six right now So right now basically to you guys the game feel a little bit incomplete it needs a little bit more variety or, or, or maybe a little bit more content at least more for like the obstacles I, i feel like they're not gonna just stick with those ones like for a while they'll probably update the the obstacles like later on but yeah the more that they do that then yeah for sure the game would get a lot better too okay I, it loses one point for me um or like maybe a half a point Um, just because one of the only uh, like varieties of game, there's racing and then there's move the ball or catch the ball and then one or two others. But one of them uh, involves grabbing the tails of off of other players. And I kind of feel like that's a little bit buggy right now yeah. um, and, and because I have to do it so often. I don't know, program that a little bit better for me. Maybe I'm being nitpicky, but <laughs> I mean, that's it for me on Fall Guys, unless you guys had anything else. I'm obsessed with it. Anyone listening or watching, um, it's it's free if you have PS Plus and it's $19.99 on Steam. Oh, we did look up right before the podcast. These guys haven't made a whole lot, so support indie devs, right? Yeah. They're not like a major company or anything. I mean, it's, uh, it's a, it looks like a fun game. So I, I'm a PC master race. So as soon as, they really see, um, as soon as I get my hands around it on PC, I will play it. I just cannot believe that you guys got it for free and I'm not. Um, <laughs> I'm bitter because of that. <laughs> But, But we, had get, to, we had to pay for that PS Plus though. Yeah. That's true. That's true. But I'm paying for Game Pass. So what's going on, Xbox? Throw that game in there. I want that, <laughs> that game. Is, it is weird that it's not on Xbox. I will say that's strange to me. <laughs>